So for 22, we want to take R1, this blue region, and then we want to rotate it about the line BC. So the line BC is this line here, and it connects 0, 1 to 1, 1. Um, so this is described by the line Y is equal to 1. And then um, R1 is actually just the curve, the, sorry, the area beneath this curve, right? The curve that connects OB. Now OB goes from 0, 0 to 1, 1, and therefore we can see that this is just a linear function that goes, this is just Y is equal to X, right? So let's see what happens when we revolve this area about the line uh, about the line BC. So when we revolve it, what is going to happen is we're going to end up with a disk, right? So the outer part of the disk is going to touch the x-axis. So we're going to go like, like so. And then the inner part of the disk is going to touch the blue curve, right? So it's going to go like this. Um, and as, what's going to happen is we're just going to sum up these disks all the way from 0 to 1. We're going to sum them up across the x-axis, right? So um, our integral is going to be described by the sum from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1 of the area of each disk, right? So we're, we're summing up each disk. Um, now let's think about how to calculate each disk. So each disk is actually um, is actually a bigger circle, and then we remove from it we remove from it a smaller circle, right? To just get this this strip here. So um, we're gonna call this this is a a one minus a two for the uh, the bigger circle minus the smaller circle, right? And the way that we can calculate this is. Um, A1 is the circle given by radius R1, and A2 is the circle given by radius R2. So we just do the biggest circle minus the smaller circle. All right, so let's figure out the area of the bigger circle. Where, well, um, the bigger circle, it doesn't change, right? As we can see, um, if I were to connect a line from here all the way out to here, it's the same at every single point. You know, if I go from here, it's still the same, right? Um, so because this is a fixed distance, it doesn't change uh, with respect to x. So it, it just gives us, um, let me write that down. So we have that a1 is equal to pi times r squared, where the radius just goes from the line y is equal to 1 all the way out here. So it's just the distance of 1, 1 squared. Now what about a2? Well, a2, um, and maybe I'm going to erase these drawings just so that we can look at it more carefully. A2 is going to be the distance from um, from BC all the way out here, right? And how do we express this distance? Well, this distance is just the bigger distance, right? The bigger distance of 1. Uh, maybe I'm going to draw it with an arrow. It's just 1. And then we have to go back. We have to subtract something. So 1 minus this blue line, this blue arrow, right? And this blue arrow is just the height of the curve y is equal to x. So to get the orange line, we go 1 all the way down here, and then minus, so we turn around, minus the height of the blue curve. Um, <clears throat> so we can see here that this radius is just, let's see, it's just pi times 1 minus, minus this curve. And this curve is just the curve x, right? y is equal to x. 1 minus x squared. Um, so we have here that a2, which is equal, when we foil this out, that gives us, let's see, x squared um, minus, minus 2x and then plus 1. So then when we have a1 minus a2, what we're actually going to have here is we're going to have pi outside. And then we have 1 minus, minus this whole thing, right? So minus x squared. And then minus minus gives us plus, plus 2x and then minus 1, minus 1, which is equal to pi times uh, minus x squared and then plus 2x. So that's our a1 uh, minus a2, which is this orange disk. So once we have that expression, um, we're ready to integrate this. So this is just the integral of pi, I'm going to put that outside, times uh, minus x squared, uh, not times, well, actually, yeah, times, but inside the integral, dx, which is equal to, uh, let's see, I'm going to put pi outside, and then this is minus x cubed over 3 
and then plus 2x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to 1. So let's plug in these boundaries. Um, this is just pi times, let's see, minus, that's minus 1 over 3, and then plus 2 times 1 divided by 2 is just 1, plus 1. And then when we plug in the lower boundaries, it would be just minus 0 plus 0, so that um, we ignore that. So this is equal to pi minus 1 third plus 1 is uh, 2 thirds, right? So that's 2 pi over 3. And that's the answer um, for the volume that we get when we revolve R1 about the line um, CB, giving us these kinds of disks.